Map fans, welcome back. Today we're looking at how we can clip all layers in a geo package with Python. Previously, we looked at how we could do this using just QGIS and the processing tools. Then we looked at how we could do this with GDAL. And then, nothing. Until Lem4 pointed out that I hadn't made part three. So here's part three. To use Python in QGIS, we can go to plugins and the Python console. And from here, we can type in Python commands. For example, a simple print statement with hi map fans. And as I hit enter, that is printed to the console above. What's the point of using Python scripting? Well, it does offer us more control, flexibility and efficiency, especially if we're dealing with complex, repetitive or unique tasks within QGIS. And today's task is kind of repetitive. We've got the OS Open ZoomStack Geo package. And if I turn on all the layers, you can see how long this takes to load. So if we wanted to clip these to the map extent, so we've just got our area of interest, we'd have to go through and clip each layer individually. Now this lends itself really well to using a Python script in order to do it. And as we've seen in previous videos, there are different ways to do it. We could use GDAL, we could use the processing tools, but hopefully this video will inspire you to get started with Python, dig in and see what you can create with your own Python script. Now you might have noticed that I have changed my console to be a dark color. It's just easier on the eyes. And I've opened up the script editor. Script editor allows you to save your Python script, which is kind of useful. and I always start off by making a little comment with that hashtag about what I'm going to be doing. And then I kind of pseudo code it. So I think about the stages that I might need to go through. Again, just using a Python comment. So that hashtag and the stages that I'm going to go through in this script. So here we've got setting the input geo package location. Where is it on my machine? Get the layers of the geo package. We need those in order to be able to clip them. And then we're going to clip all the layers by the extent. First up, I'll create a variable called file name and I'll give it the string, which is the path of where that geo package is stored on my machine. Next, I need to get the layers of the geo package. And to do this, I'm going to use OGR and this is part of the OS Geo library. So I'm just going to import that from there. And you can read more about why we need to do this on Anita Grazer's blog, um, also known as Underdark. I'll put a link up the top there. So I'm going to create a geo package list and then I'm or geo package layers list and then I'm going to get the name of each layer for each layer within our geo package that we've opened up. Next I'm going to create an ordered dictionary called ordered layers and that's going to come from the collections library. So I'll need to import that as well. So I'm going to import collections. And whilst I'm here, I might as well import processing as well, because we'll be using that later on to do the clip function. And then down below, you can see that I have a little for loop and that is going to look for each layer within my geo package list. And we're going to create a key in our ordered dictionary and the key will be the layer name. The value will be a QGS vector layer and we'll create that using the file name and the layer name itself. With all that set up, I'm just going to put in a little print statement here and make sure everything's working okay. So we'll just print that ordered dictionary and in our output, if I hit run, there we can see that we have the key, which is our layer name, and then the value, which is that QGS vector layer object. With all of that in place, we can get on to the processing part of this script. And first of all, I'll just turn off this print statement uh, to reduce some clutter in the output and then I can set up the processing. So for each layer in our ordered layers dictionary, we are going to use the extract by extent processing tool and I'll run this with run and load results. So when it runs, it'll load the layers in. We've got the input, the extent, the clip and the output. Now the output is going to be a Python geo package, which will be in the same location as my input geo package. And then we set this CRS as well. Uh, you can read more about this in the QGIS docs. That clip set to false just means that any features that run beyond the edge of our area of interest or the extent will remain. If that was set to true, it would be a hard clip, so it'd be square. So now we can run our code. I have zoomed in to the Scilly Isles. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see the southwest toe of the UK and then zoom back into the Scilly Isles. 
And if I run my code, we should have a Python Geo package created and our layers should be added. Now they're probably going to be added into this OS Open Zoom stack group, but we'll deal with that in a sec. So I'll just hit run, run the script, off it goes. And there we have a new batch of layers. So I'll just pick these up and move them outside of that Open Zoom stack group. There we go. Zoom out and there's the toe of England. And if I turn it off, you can see that we have clipped just the silly aisles and there's all our layers. If I hang over one of these, it'll tell us where this is stored and it's in that Python Geo package that we created down here. So that's all working, which is good. This code isn't the prettiest. There are some embellishments we could make to it. For example, we could do some error handling. And you may have noticed that I've used an ordered dictionary. Now, as of Python 3.7, there may not seem to be much point in this, but if we were to make this into a fully fledged plugin, it might be useful to reorder our dictionary and get those layers coming out in the suggested order as of the ordnance survey. We could also apply some styling to them. Now, speaking of plugins, my colleague Richard and I have been working on a plugin for QGIS called AGS Tools, and this allows you to work with AGS data. This is very useful for site investigation and contaminated land work. We've also created a series of six seminars, which you can sign up for on Eventbrite. And these will take you through using QGIS for geotechnical workflows. The reviews to everyone, we've got some basic QGIS stuff in there, SQL, how to set up a project, all those kind of things. So do check those out. And if you're interested in seeing today's Python script turned into a QGIS plugin, don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks very much for watching and happy mapping.